Buhari should use corps members to beef up security, Governor Fayemi said. Governor Kayode Fayemi has called on President Muhammadu Buhari to turn NYLC camps into security training ground to recruit willing and able graduates to join the military and the police. Mr. Fayemi pointed out that one of the cheapest and fastest ways to handle this was to amend the law setting up the National Youth Service Corps. With this, we can use the existing orientation camps to train willing and able graduates to ref ref reflate the security personnel under a special arrangement that will be worked out. That way, the fund that is currently deployed to the NYC can be used with just some additional funding, which could be sourced through a national agency fund for the next five to ten years. He explained those who cannot join the military service can serve in their community without pay if we must still retain the NYC for everyone. In June, Shuaibu Ibrahim, the NYC director, Gen the NYC director general had said corps members were on save reserve for war as they are part of Nigeria national defense policy and could be mobilized for war. Mr. Fayemi explained that the step was necessary and a cheaper way to get 2,000 security personnel needed by Nigeria to tackle its worsened security. By available statistics, we need a minimum of 200,000 personnel to boost the fighting power of our men, stated the Ekiti governor. This number is very large and a potential financial and logistic nightmare. He added, yet, we cannot delay any further. The ungoverned space needed to be closed up quickly by motivated men with the singular objective to serve the nation that takes us to the number two issue of financing and aiming large recruitment the governor maintained that there are two things that we need to address quickly to bring the current wave of insecurity to a heart we need to have a conversation on how we can recruit a large number of people to join the police and the military even on a short service the AKT. Governor stressed, just July, Governor Dar Darius Ishaku of Taraba had expressed a similar thought, stating that the NYSC should be a two-year program to give corps member military training. Making further suggestions, we reason that to incentivize those who may volunteer to serve, they will have a separate certificate and medal of honor in addition to having priority for military, paramilitary, and civil or public service recruitment after service. Mr. Fayemi stated this on Tuesday in Ibadan while delivering the seventh lecture series to mark the 21st annual birthday ceremony of Babatunde Oduyoye, Odu the special advisor to Governor Sheyi Makinde on political affairs. The Nigerian Governor's Forum chairman said that was no further evidence to prove that Nigerians were all concerned about the security situation than the fact that security is a major item of discourse in most national gatherings. Stressing the precarious situation the country is in, Mr. Fayemi emphasized the need for patriotic statesmen and women and not rumor mongers, ethnic crisis entrepreneurs, pro provincial men of little minds who see everything from the prism of ethnic and religious conspiracy. This should be an allied consensus on what is the minimum in irreducible and acceptable standard of public conduct, but taking due call taking due cognizance that peace can only come on the plat on the platter of fairness and justice he further stress mr fayemi urged the leaders to unite in the face of the evil merchants who have no respect for children old age women clergy or traditional authorities 
<laughs> okay, oh, Mr. Fire Me, you have said this all. Oh, maybe you go and bring your own children too to come and join the NYSC and fight insecurity in the state. Because I know so many Nigerians will be clamoring already. This one, I don't understand what Fire Me is talking about at all. Fire Me should arrange all his siblings, including his children, to beef up the security first. Oh, we'll follow the suit after his children. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so governors and ministers' children should be sent to fight IS, ISIS, uh, uh, ISWAP, bandits, and African Taliban. Okay, doorhead. Why don't you call your children to be part of them? Fool. The train the trained soldiers are being killed like fish. You want to waste life of children who just come in to start their life. You are an idiot. <laughs> you are correct about that. <clears throat> I don't just understand how these people are. Just imagine what this fire means. Same is this man really, really okay? Nigeria is just flooded with people who are clueless of her problem, talk less of how to solve it. It's our problem not being able to recruit security men. There are thousands of willing men ready to join the force outside the NYSC. Why should it be from the NYSC that we we will recruit people to go and fight in security? Let's fire me children be used to beef up security. Nonsense. Exactly. Because I'm so angry with this so-called robber me are just garbage out of his mouth. Just imagine wishing people's children's dead. How can someone send their children to school to spend four years, some five years, six to eight years, and you are telling them to go and die just like that? This man is really, really wicked, though. In my candid opinion, if these public officers, <clears throat> national assemblies, governors, and heads of federal state agencies' children are what were to be involved in most of these agitating areas of their state of origin for perception, Management and crisis management, 70% of this indiscipline and nonchalant words wouldn't be on the neck of our security force, as they would either be viewed as worthy or unworthy ambassadors of their various communities with the consequences of occurring. Hmm. Maybe he's joking. Huh? How will someone come out to say this kind of thing as a joke? Well, the cabal should join to beef up what they started. <laughs> well, someone say you you wicked politicians now wants to use them as armored personal carriers. <laughs> Why yours are sending abroad to pam and uh, prepare them for taking over power in near future. Go and bring back your children from abroad and be sure they will be at war front. <laughs> Just imagine this kind of nonsense. You want to keep people's children before their time. Just imagine innocent children that are just graduated from school and are going for NYC. The first, well, you people should just try, in short, is it by force to even go to NYC? If these people should try to implement this nonsense, I'm very, I trust Nigerian youth. Nobody will go there again. They, they will go and kill themselves and their children and not innocent people. So all the poor people that can afford to send their children abroad no longer are no longer safe in this country again. I'll be... Hmm. Well, you can go to the comment section and share the condition article. Thanks for listening.